Hi everyone, I've just received um, a package. It's the Ancestry DNA. My mum asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I said I wanted this. So yeah, it's come and I'm gonna do it early because I think a lot of people are gonna get it for Christmas. So I'm gonna try and send it off early just so I'll get the results back. So I've just had a little read of it and I've got to activate the test and then I've got to spit in the tube and send it off. So it's pretty simple. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then um, when I get my results back, I will, I will let you know what my results are. Hi everyone. So I have received my results back from Ancestry DNA and I'm gonna open them up and share them with you. Okay, so the last couple of clips you saw were just me explaining explaining like that I'd got the kit and everything. So I sent it off, I think I sent it off on the 26th of November and then I got an email last week saying that they'd received it and that it was in the lab and then I got an email yesterday morning saying that it was in but I didn't know that it was in until last night I went on there and I was so tempted to open it but I thought no I'm going to wait and do it now. So I've not actually seen the results yet. So uh, before I actually before I actually open them so I don't actually know what's in there but I'll tell you what I know. So my mum's side seems to be really really simple I believe that they are from, as far as I know, I believe they're from England. They've, my mum and my grandparents never ever spoke about how they were from, or their ancestors or great great grandparents or whoever was from anywhere in the world. They just never ever, they never ever mentioned it. They, so I presume they're from, I just presume they're from Great Britain. My dad's side, his dad, my granddad, I know that his nan was from France and that she had um, a French surname. I think her French surname, I think her surname was Dupree. So she had a real sort of French surname. And I believe there's a little bit of Irish on that side, but I don't really know too much. That's as much as I know from my granddad. My nan, which would be my dad's mum, she also said there's a bit of Irish somewhere in her family. And her granddad, I think she said was German. Anyway, that's what, that's what she told me. And... Also, I think somewhere in the 16 or 1700s, someone done, I've just got Amara on the floor playing with some toys. I think it was like 16 or 1700s, there was a, um, someone had done a, fam someone done a family tree and they got back as far as about 16, 1700 and they found out that they, her family on her dad's side were from, was supposedly from France and they had one of those, Spanish surnames that ended in EZ, like an EZ, and then they cut the EZ off and they em like, em like, um, emigrated to England to make it sound more English. So that's as much as I know. Whether anything else is going to come out or whether that will come out, so that's as much as I know. So I'm going to open them, open the results, and find out for sure. I'm so into stuff like this. I'm into family trees and things like that. So yeah, your ancestral DNA results are in. It's just loading up. So, yeah, okay, here we go. The results you've been waiting for. It's weird, my heart's pounding. So yeah, while I wait for that to load up, so I'm expecting, if my mum's side is from, Brit from Great Britain, then I'm guessing at least 50% of me is gonna be English. And then I'm obviously gonna have some from my dad. And then there's probably gonna be like a little bit of Irish, Possibly the French, the Spanish, and the German that my, um, my, oh here we go, right, so it says 71% Europe West, 14% Ireland, Scotland, Wales, so there's the Irish, 14% and 71% European West, and it's got seven other regions, so let's have a look. 71% though, that's a lot lower than what I was expecting. I was expecting like 90%, but yeah, 7, 71%. So, here we go. 71% Europe West, primarily, primarily located in 
Belgium, Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein. Eh? Hey? Okay. Southern England. Okay, right. I don't really get this. Hang on, so... I've got no British in me at all then, I'm guessing. Europe West? No, that can't be right. Really? Oh, hang on, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. 5% Great Britain. Oh. Oh, okay. Jesus, okay. And it's got 3%, 3% Scandinavia. Two percent Caucasus, two percent Iberian Peninsula. There's the Spanish. A lot lower though. I mean, okay, it was sixteen, seventeen hundreds, but okay, two percent Iberian Peninsula. I expect that to come up. Less than one percent Europe South. Less than one percent Native American. And less than one percent European Jewish. Okay, what's called what's Caucasus? Primarily located in Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. Two percent. Oh. Make life simpler. Seventy-one percent Europe West. Fourteen percent Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Five percent Great Britain. 3% Scandinavia, 2% Caucasus, 2% Iberian Peninsula, 1% Europe South, 1%, oh no, sorry, less than 1% Europe South, less than 1% Native American, and less than 1% European Jewish. Oh, right, I am quite surprised. Really surprised. I didn't expect ca Caucasus. Middle East, middle, I didn't expect the Middle East to come up at all. At all. Okay. That's, that's a bit of a shock. I can't believe I'm only 5% Great British. Great, Great British, Great, from Great Britain. 5%. Oh. See, I don't know where where all this would wow so my nan my nan and my mum's mum and dad they must they must have they, they must their family must have originated they must be the scandinavian i would imagine or the europe west i mean they they are like the whitest people with blue eyes really light light hair than me like they're just you know oh so i'm guessing that they must be that my dad if you used to see my dad my dad is black hair tan skin, brown eyes, completely opposite to my mum. And I get all my colourings from my dad. I get my dark hair from my dad. My mum has got a lot lighter hair than me. My mum's got blue eyes, I've got brown eyes. So I get that from my dad. My dad is really tanned. I am not, I'm slightly tanned. Like I'm not, you know, I, I, I can't just go in and pick up like a foundation that's like a pure white foundation. It looks silly on me. Like I have to get something that's a little bit more on the darker. Just because I, I think I just get it from my dad, which I'm guessing must be the Spanish or something. But 2%, it's not a lot really, is it? Wow. Yeah, I'm probably going to spend like the rest of the day now, kind of like researching each little bit. And then I might go to my dad's and speak to my dad and tell my dad about it. Because, yeah, this is really interesting. He's been wanting to know as well. So, yeah. I will give you, I'll show you what, um, what I'm seeing. So, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. So, I'm seeing... Europe West, 71%, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, 14%, Great Britain, 5%, and then the low confidence regions. In fact, there was no, there was no French in there. I've just realised there was no French in there at all. Scandinavia, Caucasus, Iberian Peninsula, Europe West, and then if I scrolled down, there was um, the less than 1%, 
oh yeah, look, less than 1% Europe South, less than 1% Native American, and less than 1% European Jewish. So, wow. So yeah, they are my results. I'm actually re quite shocked, really quite shocked actually, but in some ways not. Like 71% of me is pretty much kind of European white, you know, like I, that is like, you know, not, not the shocker. But the other little bits, I'm a bit like, oh, okay, I didn't expect that to be in there. And there was no French either. There was no, unless that comes under, unless that comes under um, Southern England. No. Oh. But then it, it is highlighting part of like, oh yeah, wow, okay. So yeah, Europe West. Oh no, hang on, maybe that, maybe Europe West does come under that. Oh yeah, there was French, sorry. Yeah, Europe West, Belgium, France. Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of an eye-opener for me, and I will speak to you all really soon for another video.